Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Winpone to uh, pwn your iPod. Um, first thing is you're going to need to download uh, the Winpone uh, Beta EXE. You can get this from our website. You're also going to need to download the iTunes uh, downloads uh, zip file. Um, one thing is you do have to be on firmware version 1.1.4. Uh, if you don't have that firmware version you can download it from my site as well but you will need to be on firmware 1.4 in order to uh, pwn your iPod or iPhone so after you download those two programs the first thing you want to do is run the uh, WinPwn setup go next I'm going to leave the uh, desktop shortcut next. And it's going to install it into uh, program files um, and then the folder CMW. So go ahead and just uh, run that setup. Then click finish. Now, what you want to do is open up the uh, iTunes DLLs that you uh, downloaded. What you want to do is extract those two files into the uh, WinPone folder. So if you go to your, um, my computer, and it'll be on the hard drive, program files, CMW, then WinPone. Click OK. So that's where you want to extract them to. I'm going to click Extract. I already got them in there. Um, I'm going to click Yes to All. So close that. Now at this point you should have another icon after you installed the one pound. What I do is uh, double click that and it's going to come up and if it says the lib USB not available don't worry about that that just has to do with uh, iBooter not being enabled. So what you want to do is make sure that your uh, iPod is uh, plugged in and uh, you can see I have uh, iTunes uh, open, so let's minimize that. First thing you're going to do is click uh, browse.ipsw. What you're going to want to do is go to wherever you have uh, your firmware version 1.4 uh, downloaded to. So you can see there's mine, so I'm going to select that, click open. Now it's going to say to be sure to, to connect your iPod. Mine is. So now at this point what you want to do is actually pwn your iPod. And to do that you're going to click iPwner. As you can see it's going to be uh, running through some, some code. So you can see it's been... Uh, Pwned. and it's set into restore mode click OK minimize iTunes and now it's going to be running through some code on your uh, iPod that says uh, turbo auto pwn it's uh, starting this uh, takes a little bit to start, it doesn't take too long, just be patient. Okay, there it goes. You can see the flashing is complete, now it's going to be rebooting. And there's the uh, custom boot image. Uh, mine has that right now, just due to the fact that I've I already pwned mine. Yours will just be the the uh, traditional boot image. So now that it's pwned, I'm going to cancel that. 